up, everybody? Graver here, and today we are going to be taking a look at this. And what this is, it is a foam dart firing shell ejecting shotgun I happened to find on Amazon. And I was actually able to get Amazon to actually ship it to me. Uh, just real quick disclosure. Yes, I did pay for this with my own money. Uh, and yeah, for some reason, Amazon doesn't like sending stuff to New Jersey if it looks, I guess, too real or doesn't have an orange tip on it or something. Because I have noticed as of late that there are a lot of blasters that I've looked at and tried to order, and I have found this error message when I try and go to order it, which honestly kind of sucks because there are some things out there that, you know, are, you know, considered, you know, third-party knockoffs, whatever, that I would like to take a look at. I just literally cannot because Amazon won't ship crap to me anymore. Um, one thing I'm really annoyed at is I've always wanted to get one of those 1887 replica uh, dart blasters, but no matter what color it comes in, I can't get it. Uh, I saw a very similar product like this on Amazon that happened to be in black and brown, even with an orange tip. Won't ship to New Jersey, but oh well. So, now that I got that out of my system, uh, yeah, so with any of my reviews, as always, uh, we're going to go over the aesthetics of this blaster, uh, what it actually comes with, how it functions. Uh, we're going to take it over as the workbench. I'm going to try and open it up to because I'm curious to see how everything kind of works because for a small package here, it seems to be kind of decent. Uh, and then after that, I will give you my final thoughts on this. So... This is a shotgun style, uh, break action, double barrel, over under shotgun um, that fires foam darts and it does eject shells. This came, I bought this from a company called Osu, um, or Os, yeah, I believe it's pronounced Osu, but this is how it's spelled. And I will have a link to this down below. Um, again, it's not an affiliate link or anything like that. And I'm just sharing it in case you guys maybe want to, you know, get your own version of this. But yeah, um, so that was, this is uh, where I got this from. And it's got, just going over the aesthetics of it, it's a blue and white, um, it's got blue and white on it, uh, blue for what would be the wood furniture on the shotgun, and then the white would be what would be either gunmetal or silver or whatever, the metal aspects of the, of the, uh, of the uh, real steel version of it. So... And it does have some markings on it, like on the stock here, it does say uh, Superior Performance Shotgun. And then it has this logo here, JH. And I'm not sure if Asu is a just a reseller of this particular uh, product because, I mean, it says JH on there. And I'm assuming that's the company logo or company branding because um, it also has it here on embossed into the plastic itself. And then just up front here, it says, read owner's manual before using gun. Um, this came with a sheet of paper, not an owner's manual. And I could, and I don't know what I did with that piece of paper, so I can't even uh, say if Asu is on the paperwork or not. But either way, and then on the back side of it, it says, superior performance. And then it has a model number, which is JH. 2031 made in China. Um, but yeah, that's, I mean, there's not, it's a very blank slate. There really isn't that much to go over about the aesthetics of the blaster. It's an over under shotgun that break open um, and it has an orange tip. But, oh, and the way it comes to you is it actually comes disassembled. It's actually a very easy put together. Um, I don't have the screw in at the moment or the bolt. Uh, but yeah, it just takes one bolt right there to actually keep the stock on. But this is how I it it will get shipped to you. Uh, the stock and then the body of the blaster itself. So, and one thing I wanted to point out with the stock is they actually weighted the stock. Like, I don't know if there is metal or wood in here, but yeah. 
I have no idea what's in it um, because it's also like sealed. There are no screw holes on this, but yeah, I feel yeah there are no screw holes, so it's mol it's molded it's plastic welded together. But yeah, this is actually a weighted stock, and that's not terrible. That's actually pretty nice. Um, it does give the blaster an interesting weight to it. So I mean everything is all here in the stock. Like there's. N the stock, I think, weighs about as much as this, if not maybe even more. Uh, but yeah, the way it works is you have this little black lever right here. You press that, and that will break open your shotgun. The way you prime it is you just push the barrels all the way down. Not only will that eject your shells, but you will see this orange priming bar pop down, and that's actually what's priming the internal plunger tubes. So... Before I continue on with this, I might as well get to the accessories because that's kind of things that go with it because the way it works is you have to put darts into these, which are these little red plastic shotgun shells. Uh, you just load them in uh, top and bottom, close it, and this is already ready to fire. Uh, when you Also, before I forget, this has a dual stage trigger. So that's actually pretty cool because as you pull the trigger once slightly, it will fire the bottom barrel, and then if you pull all the way back, it will fire the second barrel, which is the top barrel. Um, because it is dual staged, you can also just pull the trigger straight back, and it will fire both barrels at the same time. So, and yes, it does the thing. And I was able to, it, with a little practice, you can actually pop the shells without having to reprime it because there are no air restrictors in this thing. So, you know, it's safe. Um, besides the six shells that you get for your foam darts, you also get these two green shells that just say spread soft bullet on them. And this is interesting because it's got these tiny little three holes. And I thought, oh, is, are those BB rounds? Like, what do you load in there? And then, lo and behold, I find with the darts that come with this, which I will showcase in a moment, uh, it comes with these tiny, tiny, tiny little foam dart things. Um, it's like one, th it's like not even one third. It's like maybe like two fifths of like a dart tip and then like a three fifth foam body. It's almost like a half. It's honestly almost even closer, half and half. But yeah, so you get 10 of those like this. I've already fired off three and I have absolutely no blessed idea where they are. So be warned, if you lose those, they're gone. Because I have no idea where the hell you would find those. But it also comes with 20 regular darts, um, or what I would say normal darts are. Uh, it comes with 10 like this, which are gray bodies with blue tips. I honestly, I cannot recommend using these darts. Uh, these are specifically made for the shells because they are not full length nerf darts and they are not uh, half darts. So they're that weird in between. And the reason I can't say, to, I can't recommend the darts themselves is they're FVJs. And for anyone in the hobby who knows what that is, you know, you know, you, if you know, you know. But for those who don't and are casual viewers or just looking for reviews on these, what an FVJ in our hobby, what we refer to that as, is a full vinyl jacket, uh, kind of like a full metal jacket. Um, but we call them that because the tips of these darts are pretty much solid plastic. Like, there is zero give in them. Whereas a normal Nerf dart has an air pocket built into the tip of it so when you squeeze when you squeeze the tip you can see it has that flex in it and even if you just push down on it you have that flex you feel that air pocket that's what makes them safe these are not safe if you're if you're close and you get hit in the eye either one if you get hit in the eye it's gonna hurt but you these will be much more damaging um, but besides those, they do come with 10 suction cup darts, so those are fun. Uh, the other two accessories it comes with are because, and I remiss, I apologize for not mentioning this earlier, 
This does have some Picatinny rail on top, or faux Picatinny rail, um, if it's close enough. But it comes with this shell holder, which holds up to four shells, which is really nice. And it just slides right on. It, it does hold in place very well, like it's not going to move off very easily. You do have to pull it off. Uh, but yeah, it's honestly, it's really nice. You can just, and it also works both ways. So you can put it on whichever side you want. Uh, it also does come with some Picatinny rail on top here. And if you wanted to, it looks like you could just remove that because there are just two screws right here holding it on. So if you didn't want the Picatinny rail on it at all, you can just slide this on and then just take the rail off of it and it should still work fine. I'll play test that later. But besides that, you also do get this faux red dot sight, or actually in this case, it's a green dot sight. It has uh, the crosshairs already etched into the lens up here, which, you know, is what it is. But when you turn it on, however, it just like shoots this like little green light straight up. And honestly, I don't like it. It, besides the fact that this thing feels cheap, the fact that once it's on, that light is causing that straight streak right across it. Like, it's not just illuminating the crosshair like it's supposed to. It's actually illuminating the glass or the lens itself. And honestly, it's really kind of distracting. Like, I, I would not be able to use that. And even if, even of itself, because it is a very lightly, um, oh, it's not etched, it's embossed on the back. So, yeah, it's not even etched in, it's actually, it's actually kind of embossed into the back. But, yeah, I mean, this is, it will make a good prop piece. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't use it in any real fashion whatsoever. Um... But yeah, that basically goes over everything with the blaster itself. So yeah, let's take this over to the workbench and see what we can find on the insides of it. Okay, so for sake of time, as always, I've already unscrewed everything. Uh, but before we get into the blaster itself, I just wanted to point out the difference in the dart sizes. So as you can see here, this is a... Dart Zone Max Striker Dart. This is, which is what we lovingly refer to as a half dart. This is a Nerf Elite 2.0 dart, which is the standard full length dart. And this is the one that came with the blaster, or this blaster, I should say. So as you can see, it is a little shorter than a full length Nerf dart. So you would have to cut yours down to actually use this in this particular blaster. Um, however, they do actually work with half darts and you do have to push them in, but over and all, it does work with a half dart. So if you don't want to cut down your full length darts, you can use half darts with this. You just kind of have to ramrod them into the shell a bit. Uh, but also regarding this, I did want to just do a quick little lesson with y'all. Uh, so this is a Nerf dart. I have my trusty finger slicer here, as Kleine would say, and I am going to cut the head of this Nerf dart. And as you can see here, it is hollow. Um, this is what gives the Nerf dart their cushion and everything in there. Now I'm going to show you what's inside this thing. And that, my friends, is not a whole lot of give. You have a little squish on the side, but that is, it might as well just be solid plastic. Um, yeah, that's why we normally in the hobby do not recommend using these darts. So there's your little lesson on that. Um, so going into the blaster now. Um, you only have one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven screws, uh, two which you could say are hidden screws because with the stock on, you're actually covering these two, but I digress. But this is the inside of the blaster, and honestly, it's not as complicated as I thought it was going to be. Uh, you have your dual-stage trigger here. Uh, you have your priming handle here, which just goes right into this uh, very solid prime uh, piece, which is connected to both of the, which is connected to both of your uh, plunger tubes. And honestly, the way this is kind of set up is not, and then of course you have your uh, trigger and catch here. And I got to say, it's not too dissimilar to the way Busby does their brake action shotguns, either the over, under, or the double barrel. Uh, the only difference here is you have this piece here working off of the prime itself, as opposed to in a Busby blaster, it would have been rope and a gear system that were tied to this. So when you broke this open, it would actually pull a string or a rope and that's what would be priming your blasters so or priming your plunger tubes so i gotta say i do actually appreciate this a whole lot more in regards to the way this is set up and then of course here is where you have your brake action uh lock and lever and it's just the pivot on two springs so yeah um for as simplistic as this is it's really nice i do like it uh so yeah i'm gonna put this back together now and i'm gonna give you my final thoughts on the blaster okay so my final thoughts on this thing i mean i gotta say i do like it um there was a reason why i decided why i wanted to get one of these is because one it looked fun uh two it is actually fun now is this a competition blaster god no um i haven't tried it with the darts it actually comes with i was mainly trying it with half darts because that's what i wanted to use with it in the shell um and the performance wasn't terrible i mean you're going to be getting maybe about 30 to 50 feet out of this thing if you're lucky um definitely the 30 feet to 50 if you angle it at the right at the right way and the wind catches it you may get 50 feet out of it but honestly this is going to be one of those things of like you're gonna be you know you're going to like a, an indoor arena and you just wanted something like really close and you know, that kind of thing. But yeah, that's where, you know, that I, I kind of like find it on that. Now there are a few downsides to this and one being the performance, but I honestly, I wasn't expecting much out of this to begin with. Uh, the fact that it's okay with half darts is actually kind of a plus on this. Um, the downside is two is kind of twofold. One is the price. Uh, this retailed for $59.99 on Amazon. Now, I happen to use a couple of uh, some Amazon points that I had for it, uh, so I did not pay the full price for it. But again, this was not sent to me. I still paid for everything out of pocket in some way, shape, or form. The one thing that really gets me is the f is the limit of shells. This comes with six shells. It has two that you can always keep loaded, and you have your four on your on your uh, little Picatinny rack rail thing, and that's great. But you can't get any more. Um, I contacted the company saying, like, hey, I want to get more shells for this. I will give you money. Please let me buy more shells. That was a whole different conversation, which I'm going to save for another video. Um... But yeah, for the fact that this is essentially almost $10 a shot, and I've already lost one of the shells, which is why I was reaching out to the company to begin with of, hey, I want more shells for this thing. But for the fact that you get six shells, so you get three shots before you have to go looking for the shells to reload it and all, it's honestly kind of a big bummer. And also, this does not work with other shells. Um, I actually did measurements on these. The size of these shells are uh, maybe within like a, a point or two, but it's 17 and a half millimeter diameter shells on the outside. And it's honestly very hard to find those. Um, I've reached out to a couple of friends in the community and hopefully something will work out with that. But yeah, 
you get six shells with this thing and it's sixty dollars if it was forty bucks i would give it a full honest yeah if you want it definitely get it it's worth the money at sixty dollars maybe um and i know yes technically it comes with those two other ones but those you only get two of them and you literally only get 10 shots if you lose those tiny darts those shells are worthless whereas at least where are they? at least these shells you can cut down nerf darts for them you can use half darts for them these they're gone they're gone and you know that's that's really it on that but yeah I like it, um, but yeah, there are the cons to it. Uh, the price and the limit of shells and the fact that you can't order more. I'm going to leave it up to if you want to go for it, go for it. But I have plans for what I want to do with this, and that will be definitely a later video. But yeah, so that's where I'm going to end it for this review. So if you like the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this thing, or if you happen to have some shell ejecting stuff, what do you have? Is it maybe a pump action shotgun? Is it a 3D printed one that's front, that's community made or lever action or something, whatever? I don't know. Leave me down in the com leave me a comment. I love reading them all. And oh, don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. And again, we got a lot of stuff planned for this summer, so please. Definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, and, you know, hopefully you'll enjoy all the content we got coming. But, again, thank you all very much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Later!